thing I'm going to talk to you about today is from Tornos. It's the Swiss Deco 36. Now, I travelled to Switzerland to Moutier to their headquarters uh, a few months ago. Uh, met up with the marketing manager, Brees Rengali. We had a good look around the factory, checking out all the technology that they manufacture, uh, design, assemble uh, there at their plant. Uh, many of the machines fit into various different sectors. You've got machines like the Swiss Nano that go into the micro mechanics industry. Uh, we've got machines that service the automotive sector, the hydraulics industry, multi spindle machines uh, for not just high volume parts. Um, but flexibility as well. But the machine in question was the Swiss Deco 36. Now this machine is unbelievably versatile. Uh, when you take a look inside, you'll see here you've got two spindles, uh, main and front. You've got a turret here, uh, which is a B-axis or has a B-axis on it. Uh, it also has an A-axis on that turret and a Y-axis. Now there's, there's three versions of this machine. Uh, the first version has uh, like two gang tools. The second version has the turret and a, and a gang type setup. And the third version is what you see here with the B-axis, uh, which gives you that ability to do many more difficult parts with complicated features, angles, profiling, simultaneous machining. Here you'll see it's balance turning. The machine in itself uh, is unbelievably versatile. Now for me, obviously I wanted to find out some of the detail. I wanted to find out from Brees exactly what he believes this machine can't do. Well, there is not a lot of thing we would like to say that this machine can do. We can uh, go up to 57 tools, for example, on it. And uh, the vast majority of them can be, can be rotating. And uh, we really think that this machine we thought this machine flew to have the, the less limit and the less, uh, uh, the less consensus possible uh, in terms of, of machining. Now then I was interested in finding out really what sort of application this machine would be used for. And here you can see uh, a part that was actually being prepared for the Emo show last year, which has got various different features on it. Obviously it's quite a length of part, but you'll see that's where uh, all the different axes come into play. Now, when you're machining on a machine like this, you want to know whether you're going to have a collision. So again, I asked Brees uh, whether that was a possibility or whether their Tysis control actually stopped that from happening. Yeah, well, we have a new version of our, of our Tysis in this, uh, with this machine. It's called Tysis Optimove. Uh, it's brand new. You can see it uh, partially on this, uh, on this rather nice control, by the way. Uh, this does mainly two things. First of all, it's uh, minimized the tool path. It's optimized the tool path. Therefore, you get really nice and really good cycle time. You also minimize the energy consumption by, by doing that. And also, it takes care about the, the collision. Because you will have to tell the machine, OK, you've got this tool holder there, this tool holder there. And the machine will stop you, preventing you from uh, eating obviously something into the into the machine but that's you're right that's a that's a risk of course when you're making a machine like this or when you're looking at buying a machine like this you want to know about its robustness the power of the machine it's all right when it's cutting brass components like we saw there but what about if you were to try and do more challenging and difficult parts well first of all we have really huge spindle it's really it's amazingly powerful i mean they they have 56 newton meter of torque each huh? that's the same counter spindle and the same spindle and to prevent this, uh, to prevent any movement where you are machining with B axis, we've got an hydraulic brake on the main on the main spindle. It's made by material deformation, and therefore, when you activate it and when you deactivate it, the bar doesn't move. It's it's basically quite quite cool. We're quite proud of that feature. So they have a terrific insight into a very, very versatile machine tool available from Tornos. Uh, you can see more detail on their website uh, if you visit their website at Tornos. Dot com.